Well, uh, let's get this started off correctly. Not, not. All right, cool. Let's get that out of the way. So for anybody that doesn't know, we've got an incentive to press the nut button. Um, and this is going to be 1% hard. So deaths are a very real possibility. Um, so good to get rid of the tension immediately. Um, I'm Hercules Bench Press, and I have C. Scotty W. with me. Hello. Uh, to help commentate for this. So um, we'll go in three, two, one, go. So, so this will be 1% uh, hard. Uh, it is not technically the lowest percentage, but it is the most like uh, marathon safe. Uh, if you tried to do 0%, especially on the Japanese version, you would have to do a extremely tight trick that uh, no one has done in a run without extensive boss buffering. And that could take who knows how long to pull off in, a, in an actual run. It's very rare to see that. I don't think there's any runs of 1% or of 0% on uh, any category in years that has done that trick. Yeah, it's extremely so we'll be hard. That. Yeah, it's you have to do five frame perfect jumps, a frame perfect shine spark, and you have seven frames of error to do all of it. It's pretty intense. Um, and one of the reasons why we're playing on the Japanese version is because on the English version, since it came out first, uh, it does not have difficulty options. You only have the standard normal mode. Uh, so the Japanese version allows us to play on hard, and hard, uh, essentially what it does is it increases damage outputs from enemies, uh, from the normal damage they would deal in normal, uh, to 1.5 times the damage. So everything will kill me essentially in like two or three hits. Because I won't be grabbing any additional E-Tanks because this is 1%. The only one percentage that we get is a, uh, a missile upgrade expansion. Yeah, but for uh, uh, probably the first like 10% or so of the run, 10-15% of the run, we're going to be running on just the E-Tank that we start with and 10 missiles, which we will be getting in about a minute or so. Yeah, thankfully this game is a little different than a lot of the other Metroids in that it gives you 10 missiles to start with right off the bat and you don't have to pick up a missile expansion to get it. Um, it's just kind of given to you for free when you pick up the uh, the download. Uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, speaking of which, we should probably note that this game does not count uh, upgrades as percentage points, yeah. uh, such as the other Metroid games do with the exception of Samus Returns. Uh, so uh, it does not count the initial missile upgrade as a percentage point, nor does it count, for example, Morph Ball, which we will be picking up in a couple minutes as well. That does not count towards the final percentage. Yeah. Another thing with hard as well is you, if you've ever seen a 1% run done uh, anywhere else, like during a GDQ or something, it's normally done on the normal mode, so you get five additional missiles on hard. Uh, not... Not only do the enemies deal more damage, but you only get two missiles per missile expansion. So it's a little bit tighter with missile management, especially in the early going until you get charge beam. Yeah, but it's still, because of only getting two more missiles, that keeps it extremely close to what a 0% hard run would be. Whereas in normal categories, you would get five, and that's... Uh, it kind of changes uh, some of the bosses and some of the ammo management yeah. a lot more lenient with five than it is with two. Ooh. Oh. So this is an Idor. Uh, we don't like them very much. And this one doesn't uh, like is... me. <laughs> Herc is trying to get double missiles off where he will... Uh, shoot one in the air kind of from behind him and then shoot another one uh, right in front of him uh, trying to get them to line up as they hit the door yeah, this is and a... that'll save a round and a lot of RNG potential Ooh. 
this is Arachnus. It normally will take him 15 missiles to kill. Um, however, since we only have 10, uh, it's going to take some additional P shots. Each of these P shots, like the standard beam, does 2 damage, whereas missiles right now do 10. I hang on to an additional one just so I can hit him right off the bat. And then I can ooh, miss that double, apparently. Uh, and the fight mm. is pretty easy. At least you got a green out of it, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that so was lucky. you're full on health uh, whenever a whenever an uh, whenever an X spawns, that it'll be guaranteed to be a green X, but only if you're full on health. If you're lower on health, it'll be I don't know what the chances are, but it's definitely a lot lower to get a green X. A green X is typically one in five. It's like two hundred out of a thousand uh, normally. I think it's like a table of a, a thousand sixty four in the memory. Um, and it's like a little over 200 for that. So you have a four and five chance to get a yellow X from most enemies. Mm -hmm. So because of that, Herc is going to be trying to stay at full health, uh, throughout the round, just so that he can get guaranteed green health drops, which will restore two of his missiles. Yeah. Uh, aside from getting hit is just slow and... Oh, so you're going to notice uh, on a lot of platforms, I'm going to just shoot as I'm kind of right on top of it. The reason I'm doing this is because it allow once I shoot, it breaks Sam... Oh, why did I look up? Um, it breaks Samus out of the... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, it breaks Samus out of the spin animation. So it allows her to stand up a little bit faster and it um, allows me to input another input a little bit quicker, begin running. Uh, the fastest way to move around this game is by running or rolling in morph ball along the ground uh, because when I'm jumping my horizontal distance or my horizontal velocity um, is halved so I want to spend as much time as I possibly can running on the, uh, along the surface of the ground so you'll see him uh, landing as soon as possible uh, jumping as low as possible uh, landing as soon as possible basically yeah running for as long as possible yeah. Which sounds like a simple concept, but it's really hard to, you know, master that. Because if when you're trying to do that, you'll be uh, early on, you'll be missing a lot of jumps because you're trying to cut them too short, or you'll be jumping a little bit too high and uh, losing a bit of time because of that. The sector one is going to be very important until I acquire the charge beam that I remain at full health. Um, uh, like we said before, I'll be guaranteed green X drops, and everything does ah, a decent amount of damage. Taking that one hit doesn't really matter too much. Because now I'm at full again. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the most, probably one of the most missile intensive sections of the game. Uh, because we don't have charge beam yet. Once we pick up charge beam, we'll oh. be using much fewer missiles. Crap. Uh, I'm actually gonna go take this room slowly and pick up the drops Ooh. from these uh, these little guys here. All right. All I wanted was one yellow. That should be safe. Yeah. Some of these rooms are. A lot of these rooms are taken the Shoot. same way as you would in any percent, but a lot of them are taken a little bit differently, just so that you don't have to use. Uh, don't have to use missiles. This is this run is going as well as I expected. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a very real possibility that I could potentially die in this run because everything does so much damage. Like there's even enemy. Wow, that was a one in five green. Um, there is uh, a lot of enemies, especially in the late game, that will deal. Um, look, essentially one E-tank worth of health damage, then it's just instant death. Mm -hmm. This game expects you to pick up a lot of energy tanks because, well, for the most part, it places them right in your way. So it expects, oh, if you see it, you're going to go grab it. Yeah. But if, you, if you're just skipping a lot of things, then you're going to be taking a lot more damage. Yeah. But the early game, for the most part, is a lot more forgiving. Oh 
my There will God. be some enemies that do happen to Ooh. do a lot more damage. That was a nice double, actually. So I'm going to be going for doubles on a lot of these cores as well. Um, by dealing two missiles worth of damage on like the same frame, I'm able to skip around. Essentially, that wasn't a double O. Um, I'm just going to take it easy here. Oh, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oops. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so uh, apologies. All right. That was not expected. <laughs> like I said, I can die. Yeah. Uh, did not lose too much time, thankfully. Yeah, usually... That usually that doesn't kill me. That usually aims diagonally when you do that sort of... I don't know why it looked straight up. To be completely honest with everybody, um, that actually caught me by surprise. I stood it on that platform for a reason, because it uh, yeah. angles at the uh, a 45 degree. I don't know why it looked up. Those platforms are probably the safest spot to be in, if you can kind of trap it beneath you. But in that case, I think it was turning around Yeah. Uh, from facing one diagonal to the other diagonal. It's so it, as it was turning, it shot up. Yeah, that's one that I have Which, not uh, died to before. So, all is not lost. I gave a very generous estimate just in case something dumb like this happens. Uh, we'll be right back there in a second. Don't worry. Yeah, he'll do better this time and get better <laughs> RNG. Yeah. He's been practicing that. Uh, I've been trying to train practicing my cartridge like Scotty minute. does, but <laughs> it's not taking for whatever reason. I wasn't expecting to have to take a safety save that early, to be completely honest, because there's really nothing that should be killing me that early. Other than mm -hmm. just, just a weird very bananas. Unfortunate circumstance, I guess. Yeah. It's all good. We'll just, we just take won't... it safe the next time around. Yeah, we just won't, you know, die the rest of the run. Easy. Yeah. Oops. Well, now would be a great time to mention the fact that, uh,. The donate the since there really isn't a donation incentive for uh, fusion because there's nothing really that we could do differently here. Um, there's no like choice uh, for animals. However, I decided to offer a stream favorite, the nut button pressing, uh, and it's a it's a personal favorite of Scotty's as well. Um, and since this I is think it's the best. And since this is value thon, it's uh, I believe we put it at five for one, uh, ten for two, and uh, what do you call it? Fifteen, uh, 15 for five. Yeah, fifteen for five. The value is just bursting at the Through seams. The roof. Oh yeah. Yeah. I suppose you could have uh, added an incentive to show off the uh, what should call it? Secret message. Yeah, secret message. <laughs> I mean, if this I don't wasn't know how practiced, you are with that. If this wasn't low percent, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit risky. Those fish can kill you in like in two hits. I'm pretty sure they do like fifty or sixty. Yeah, it's very very unforgiving. This for English should be a lot easier. Yeah, we're on normal. Yeah, that too. All right. Now well, that we just, have... just the the version differences in English for the room layouts. And clipping. Yeah. So it's very odd that the because the Japanese one came out uh, like a year or two years later than actually like a couple months really after the English version. And uh, with English, you can basically push yourself out of bounds with respawning blocks, which is why 0% is so doable and marathon safe. Um, but, um, ow. Can't do that with the Japanese version. They must have they found it and they patched it out. Same thing that you can't like corrupt the memory either, like you can in the English version. Um, just because everything's written to a different RAM value, but that's a different run for a different time. I didn't actually know that it changed the RAM value locations. Yeah, so the third save slot for memory corruption in uh, the Japanese version is not written to the same place, which is why it doesn't uh, work in the Japanese version. Except for the fact, you know, you can't get out of bounds to begin with, but... <laughs> yeah, even if you could, it wouldn't work. Yeah. 
Oh, Dangerous. what the heck. So, hello. Hi, hello. So, we did actually get $10 from an anonymous that just says nut. I believe that's two button presses. Yeah, that is. Give me one second. Ooh, I got one green X. Give me it, give me, give me the, give me the green X. Alright, I got a double, sick. Nut, nut. There we go. Mm. Ah! Alright. Hope y'all are enjoying seeing this again. This is not how I envisioned my day going. <laughs> Honestly, I love seeing this part of the game. The... The part that I see most often. Same. So I might as well enjoy it. <laughs> Same, though. <laughs> so brutal. So, 1% hard is actually relatively new as a category. I, I meant to run it years ago, um, but just didn't have the drive for it um, until I picked up mm -hmm. the game again recently. And... Uh, Scotty as well, who has nearly every I, single record in this game. Uh, you know, is... I really, I really couldn't just sit on my hands for that <laughs> one. Yeah, so we're the only two maniacs that actually run this category. Um, and man, it's like throwing yourself at a brick wall sometimes with this category, especially because we go for uh, deathless and saveless. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, and because our time... there's a lot of really yeah. unpredictable things that can happen. I.e. what you happened? Seen already. Yeah, what happened five minutes ago? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So here's what I'll do, just so we don't see something like that again. Um, I'll say I'll start saving at the beginning of every sector. I was proud. Every sector. Uh, uh, what the, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> For safety, I'll stand behind it. I don't want to be a complete weenie, but like... We've already had something go wrong. But we don't want to see that again, yeah. So, I actually spent some time this week mapping out where my safety saves would be, and uh, man, did I not think that there would be one this early. Uh... <laughs> yeah, usually we wouldn't... I don't think he was planning on having one in until about half an hour into uh, the run. Like, yeah, 20, 20 minutes to 30 minutes into the run was my and that first was, safety that save. That was 10. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we made it a third of the way there, at least. Yeah, maybe we'll make it two-thirds of the way there this time. We'll see. We're already halfway. All right. Excellent. That's much better in terms of uh, getting ammo drops. Oh, yeah. So we shouldn't really need to be pausing in the middle of hallways to collect drops. Oh, heck no. This is already going better. Yeah, this, that uh, that room with all the frogs jumping around is... The, the window to get in between them is actually pretty tight. Ah, so getting would. out of there without taking any hits is pretty pretty good to see. Yeah, those pirates as well during that fall are actually like the first real thing that can kill you in this run. Uh, they do uh, 63 damage, if I'm recalling correctly, on hard. And Yeah, and it's very possible to get hit twice when falling down. Yeah, and there can be... Usually there's only supposed to be three, but there can be like up to five if you're very unlucky, and I believe I've had yeah. four now two times in a row. The average the average is three. You want to see three. Uh, oh, five no. is the most. Two is the least, though. Two is nice to see. I just attempted a YOLO missile and missed grandiously. Mm, that's a hard one. But doesn't lose a whole lot of time if over the standard just waiting up there. Yeah. Alright, so we're now we're getting back to where we were. Uh got really I got no words, honestly. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, here well, we go. Soon again. we'll be able to cover some new material. Yeah, apologies if uh, you're getting bored of the old stuff. How could you get bored of Fusion? I mean, I don't. It's the most exciting game I've ever seen. Uh, I will do safe strats this time. I won't be uh, a super cool dude. Lame. I mean, this is what was supposed to happen, where it just looks off into the distance while we beat it up, and we're just big bullies. Uh, hello? There we go. Yeah, here, I believe, with this setup, getting doubles is frame perfect or close to frame perfect. It's pretty tough. The setup uh, that I used last time... Whereas the other time, setups are much more lenient and consistent. Like, the setup I used last do time... do have the... Um, do have the possibility of getting hit. Yeah, so, uh... YOLO. So, uh, we, now we have the charge beam. This charge beam is completely broken. Uh, it, we're gonna, I hope you get used to the sound as well, because we're gonna have it charged at all times, because the charge beam can deal enough damage to kill pretty much anything in one shot. Yeah, um, th with the charge beam, it's now, instead of just one particle like we had with the pea shooter, it's two particles and a flare that comes out with the fully charged shot, yeah. which does a little bit more damage, and can often be just enough to kill something yeah. if you shoot it point blank. So each so a lot of the enemies that we're going to be seeing in Sector 2 will be killed point blank with a charge shot, as well as a couple of bosses. Yeah, and with the with the, the eye doors as well, we don't have to worry about uh, three rounds of opening anymore because we'll have uh, we'll just walk right up to it and shoot it point blank, and it'll die pretty quickly. Uh, with the Ghidorah. I believe is that's what the the idors yeah, are called, right? Yeah, that's the official name. Yeah, um, yeah everyone just calls them idors. Uh, unfortunately, they can shoot either zero to four times, and it's completely random. There's two RNG okay. rolls that are happen for those idors. One for how long it takes for it to open up, and the other for how many beams it's going to shoot. If I'm recalling correctly, that is correct. And they can make you lose quite a bit of time. But, um, so the way the, again, the charge beam works, it's, it's two parts. A fully charged shot is going to deal 10 per particle, the top and bottom. And then I believe the flare does six for a total of 26 if we hit something point blank. Correct. So now missiles are used, they're still used, but they're used much, much less. Yeah. This is actually the first part of the run where you would... Be concerned about uh, dying, especially because, uh, man, those Zoros do an insane amount of damage for an early game enemy. In normal, they deal even on normal mode. Yeah, on normal they deal forty-five. In hard, they deal sixty-seven. They deal two-thirds of my health. It's a little unforgiving. Eh, text, go away. Yeah, now that uh, Fusion recently switched to real-time, uh, whereas before the in-game time did not Oops. count uh, these texts I'll save. and the transitions, so um, now you actually have to think when you're mashing through text and uh, try to optimize that as well, whereas before you could be kind of loose about it and not have to worry about it. I miss the old days. Which, honestly, I don't mind too much, because it, it kind of keeps you alert for longer. Yeah, for sure. Keeps your mind on the run without it having to uh, wander too much. So these red guys are the Zoros. They are what we were talking about. They deal a lot of damage. And later in the run, they will evolve into something that does even more damage. Oh, yeah. And can kill you in one hit, even on normal. Uh, in this one, though, just by touching it, they'll kill you. Oh, just on contact. Okay, oh, yeah. that's just, fun. Just by contacting the body, they deal over 100. Alright. So now we're finally gonna get bombs. I think this is the first... Is this the... Oh, no, it's technically not. Never mind. You get bombs after uh, missiles in SM, I believe, as well. In other games. I don't know why I thought you got them before. 
But hey, we got bombs now. Yeah, yeah. You might not be able um, to tell from the Japanese <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure all Metroid games give you bombs after missiles. Maybe not the Primes. I could be wrong. Speaking of Prime, if you have uh, Amazon Prime and you link it with your Twitch account, you'll get Twitch Prime. And you can get a free sub every 30 days. Uh, I believe that every sub that is up for this channel, for this marathon, is going to be going towards the Save the Children uh, donations. It, like, it'll go right to the... Um, it'll be donated, essentially, is what I'm saying, without my mouth getting in the way with where it's whatever it's trying to say. But you can sub for the low, low price of free 99 with Twitch Prime. Thank you for organically yeah, bringing up Prime, by the way. <laughs> oh! Uh-oh. Wow, those deal a lot more than I thought. Yeah, well, they're... they're killers in any category. I just did not unmorph and wall jump. Oopsie. You really do have to be careful about them. Yeah. Basically, anything can kill if you're not careful about it. Yeah. It's it's really interesting, too, because you would think that in a category like this that the bosses would be, like, the, the one source of, like, death in this uh, category, but it's really the things that, as you're moving room to room, that'll kill you more often than not. So, like, mm -hmm. Zoros, Pancakes, uh, anything of that nature. Like, you wouldn't really die to Zazabi here, or the big walking condom. Or as my splits denote, condom monster. In a, in a casual play, you'd probably be dying more to the bosses. Just Great. because you'd be saving right in front of them. Yeah. So Zaza... And probably taking all the normal rooms much more slowly. Yeah. So Zazabi here is a complete RNG. I actually got really lucky. Uh, he can jump zero to four three times, then one to four, and then two to five. And it's completely random how many he gives you. I believe he just gave me five. Ooh, that was nice, too. Yeah, uh, that was nice a double -double. really fast Zazabee. He can give you up to 12 jumps and be a real jerk, and it takes forever. Um, he gave me a short walk at the end, as well as five jumps after giving me zero in the first one, which was really, really nice. I think it was minimum, nearly maximum, and then uh, minimum again. Another thing that you're going to be seeing a lot when Herc is fighting the Core X is that he's going to be trying to kill it in a specific spot so that he can pick it, pick up its drop as soon as possible. Uh, we call that the sweet spot. All right, so uh, should I go fight the SAX? Because I, I totally am ready. Oh yeah, do it right now. All right, here I go. He's, uh, I'm sure you could survive it. Like all you have to do is just kind of. Shoot at him a few times. The ice beam will the ice beam will take me down to uh, to one energy. By the way, so I can survive an ice beam for sure. It's just that super that yeah, darn can, super missile. Uh, yeah, the super missile is what always kills, unless you get hit by a second ice beam shot. Yeah, uh, it is possible to uh, run past SAX in those sequences, but uh, in a marathon, that's really risky. Yeah, I won't. I won't even be going contact, for that. she kills. Yeah, I would not expect you to. I'll go for it later, but not that one. Never that one. Yeah, the other one is a lot safer to do. Which pretty much all runners are going to be doing. So now that we have bombs, we're going to be on our way to grabbing Speed Booster in Sector 4, and that's uh, the go fast pretty item. nice for going fast, I would say. Oh yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't say it's as essential as it is in uh, Super Metroid, for example, but it's still needed a lot and can save uh, small amounts of time in a lot of different places. This is the only sector that actually has you go left instead of right. I don't understand why, but it's it still throws me off. Like I'll be entering, I'll be entering here 
uh, like aiming down right to shoot at the door, and then I'll see, oh, it's sector four, and I see the door on the left. I have to change it up. Or I'll just like not pay attention and I'll be looking at chat. I'll just be going into like <laughs> running know, into the auto- running into the wall. Yeah, I'll go into autopilot and I'll just run into the wall for like two minutes and I'm like, man, I haven't heard the thing yet. I'm like, where's the computer? And I look and I'm like, oh <laughs> heck, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, fortunately, uh, there's a lot of cues for where to go, uh, especially in like the main in the main deck when you're traveling between sectors. Some runners have said that they don't actually know the route, they just look for the flashing lights to tell them where to go. <laughs> it's another thing that we should mention. Uh, Fusion is the most one of the more linear uh, Metroid games, um, and we can't really do anything too much about it because of the fact that uh, the event flag, it runs on an event flag system that's hard-coded into the game. Um, but... It, you know, be even if we were to like sequence break and grab something early, it wouldn't we wouldn't get use of it because we the active event flag isn't active, believe it or not, at that time. So we would just get like a, a mm-hmm. weird message like um, something uh, uh, terminated or what is it? Um, target eradicated. Yeah, that target eradicated. Or. Uh... I think there's just a Blue door. text box that says empty. There's one that's like uh, level one doors unlocked or something. Yeah, that's for uh, if you uh, collect an item, I think. Collect a power up. And then like computers will have their separate texts. But, like there, you can in some places sequence break. Uh, but it won't do you any good because of that. The game really does not want you going out of sequence. The only way to do that is to corrupt the memory. So this is Saris. Saris has 50 health, and as we mentioned before, uh, the charge beam does 26. So if I go right up to his head, I'm able to just two shot it. Whereas with missiles, it would take whoops, it would take five missiles. Um, this is much faster. That's a very clean two round Saris. I know, and I can never get this in actual runs, and it makes me upset. <laughs> like whenever I'm going for world record attempts, I can it always gives me troll patterns. Uh, so Saris actually has only three patterns, um, but it's there's two directions for each pattern. It can zigzag, which was the initial pattern that we saw. There was the pattern we saw twice where it goes over top and then does the big loop around, and then the third pattern is just it arcs up over two platforms, and that's it. Um, where it arcs, mm-hmm. there's no predicting where it can go as we're, uh, as opposed to the other two where you can basically stand in a specific spot and predict where to aim so that way you can hit it guaranteed. Um, so we just refer to those arc patterns as troll patterns because he, he be trolling. Yeah, you kind of have to be kind of on your feet uh, with that last pattern or you can, uh, some runners will pause buffer to see where he is and account for it that way. Yeah. And I, I think buffer. those people are wusses. Yeah, I don't pause buffer at all. I've never paused buffered since I've ran this game. Even when it was uh, in game time only. I saw no benefit. A true man. I'm a man of my principles. So now that we have the speed booster, you would think, Oh, you can shine spark. Shine sparking is going to be faster in every instance. Except it's not. Uh, so... With the speed booster, you have the startup and the bonk animation when you hit uh, a wall or a slope. Or if you hit a slope with it, you can just continue running, unless you're not holding the direction. Um, so there's going to be some times where you think, well, why don't you just shine spark? It's going to be faster. It, it's actually faster to just run to where you need to go instead of shine sparking in, in more often than not in this game. Which is very mm-hmm. counterintuitive for something called a speed booster, but... You know, yeah. For for a short period in this uh, game's speedrunning history, people just shine sparked wherever they could, and looking back at it, it was just really funny. So like, I'll shine spark uh, to see what what they thought was a small time <laughs> save, but it's really just better to do platform platforming normally. Yeah. Like I'll shine spark out, like, out of the. Yeah, out of the navigation rooms. Like, that one's actually, it saves time because I actually hit a slope and I jump and end it, my, like, without the uh, the bonk animation. So it's slightly faster mm-hmm. than just running that 
that small distance. Um, yeah, but even still, that uh, sparking onto the elevator platform there only saves about 10 frames. Every frame matters, though. I don't know. It, <laughs> 10 well, frames, yes, but frames. it's still, for comparison to just leaving the room, that's yeah. not a lot. Somebody say nut? No, I said not <laughs> a lot. So another thing that we should mention that is probably not going to come up for a few, uh, a little while. Actually, it'll come up here in like uh, about a minute and a half. Um, is the fact that with the switch to RTA, there's something that we do now, uh, which is done in Super Metroid as well, which is uh, fixing doors. So to minimize the amount of time between uh, door transitions to save as much uh, time as possible for RTA attempts. Um, and okay, there we go. Uh, we will jump through doors at specific heights to minimize the amount of vertical alignment that has to happen for the next room to load and to regain control of Samus. So by doing this, we're basically we're able to get control of Samus at a much uh, at a much earlier time. So now Herc is heading over to collect super missiles and fight the security robot box. And that oh, is going to be a little bit different from what you might see in any percent because we have much less health and much fewer missiles. So we, we have to be very careful with shooting box. That was an interesting diagonal. Yeah, that was a wind spark. Can't and say half. I've ever seen that. So yeah. I, I jumped through that door specifically uh, because it if I did not, it would have to uh, adjust a little bit. But as I went through the door, there was no adjustment since I had jumped through it. All right. I just need two missiles. Please don't hit me. Please. Eh. Okay, we're good. So that Woo! missile expansion that Herc just picked up is the one missile expansion that we pick up in the game. Yeah. Uh, lovingly referred to as Bob. Yeah. I'm not going to get Data Spark here. Oopsie. Sorry if anybody mm. came for Data uh, Spark. No, that, that's a very tight trick where you have to like skid things. for a quite a while on the uh, on the data pad there. And then as soon as the text goes away here, you turn and spark. It's a very tight trick. So like there, you would think it's going to be faster to shine spark, but the trigger to start the fight is actually like well before the door. Uh, so it's faster to uh, not go all the way to the door. I can't believe that tanked. Boxes, uh, hitbox here is deceptively small. And getting diagonals on it oh, is pretty tight, too. I'm one off, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, fortunately, we can use charge beam to save a couple missiles here. Yeah, I didn't want to waste a missile if it was that close to, to death, but I'm going to take it safe with that side hopper because he's mm -hmm. really tricky and very specific to hit with a charge beam, and it's pretty consistent, but not really. Yeah, very easy to die on him. Oh, I didn't lay that high enough. Whoops. Usually I use my... I thought the uh, the bomb was laid just high enough, but I don't think... Uh, it was just slightly too low, unfortunately. Oops. Yeah, the bomb radius is also kind of pitiful in this game. As is the timer. As opposed to a couple other ones. Yeah, the bombs in this yeah, game Yeah, the timer are awful. is also really long, and you can't bomb jump midair very effectively. Yeah, they did as much as they could to mitigate uh, sequence breaking as, you know, you can't single wall jump, you can't infinite bomb jump. It basically, no fun allowed, but we have as much fun as we possibly can with this game by breaking it in weird <laughs> ways. <laughs> Take that, Nintendo. Also, we love you, Nintendo. Please keep making yeah. good Metroid games, not other M. <laughs> It only took us, what, like 15 years to find the first sequence break in this game that actually worked. It's actually very surprising because for the longest time, everyone thought that this game was perfect and there was nothing like you can't break it until Biospark found that you can not only clip out of bounds, but corrupt the memory. The joke for the longest time was that, oh, you know, whoever finds the credits warp, like, because the, it, no one thought it would ever happen. And now we're just kind of like, oh, uh... Well, we have a credits warp. 
I th I'm pretty sure it was discovered on April Fools too. <laughs> Probably. Which was really funny timing. Like I did not know if I should take that seriously when I saw it. Yeah, they're, they're doing speedrun stuff and like making announcements on April Fool's Day is kind of tough because That's so it's risky. Like, yeah, there's who's gonna believe it? Fortunately, though, it was real, and you can do it. Alright, so the reason I didn't take the safety save at the beginning of this sector is because I'm going to take it uh, halfway through the sector. Yeah, also these uh, blue acts that you're going to be seeing, uh, they deal, what, on hard mode? A oh, lot. Fuck, I don't remember. Too they much. deal most of your health, so you're going to die in two hits if you take them. Too much. They deal too much damage. I don't remember what they too do in normal. Damage. Whatever they do in normal, they do 1.5 times that. I think they do like 60 in normal, at least. Yeah, they deal quite the amount of damage. Don't worry about that. No, maybe not 60, but a lot. So you don't want to take them. No. But Herc is fine. He didn't take any of them. He's also going to avoid the sea tank, which is very much in your way here. I, uh, dude, Very I, easy to autopilot on that one and just I, pick it up. I've I done got, it several times. I got so scared for half a second because I'm like, oh shit, if I pick up this E-Tank and I didn't safety save, I'm going to look like an idiot. <laughs> Apologies if... Uh, yeah, this this is the uh, SDX skip right here that we were saying that Herc is going to do. Uh, we tank this damage from the power bomb and Nice energy. Just get his attention and then run right past her. Yeah, that's the 69. Um, nice. I'm not at all 12 years old. Alright, so this is- <laughs> this was where my first safety save was supposed to be. Um... Flawless. You, yeah. We'll just cut out yeah, that- Yeah, this upcoming boss can be very unpredictable. Yeah. As well as some of the enemies before it can give you a bit of trouble. However, I've developed quite a strategy for fighting this thing pretty safely, so it's not as, uh... I shouldn't be dying here, though, of course, I say that I'm gonna die once or something. Also, the core, as it's on, his, uh, as it's on in the data pad, can still damage you if you run into it, as Herc found out the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, I can tell you how much it deals, too. It deals 60 damage. So, if uh, you get it on the right side of you, you can just bounce it uh, right back and forth between these two spots. And it'll just keep going to those two spots. That is so nice. It's very safe. That you didn't uh, know about optimally, that one, you'd be uh, going into uh, its hitbox and shooting it from the inside and dealing as much damage as you can with the full charge beam and uh, flare. Yeah, but because uh, it deals like. 40 or 50 damage by doing that alone, mm -hmm. uh, you'll die in three hits as opposed to, you know, being able to tank those hits in any percent or literally any other category. Um, yeah, if you're trying to do this category casually or even uh, low percent normal mode, you'll find this boss to be probably one of the first, uh, like, bottlenecks of the run because of how erratic it moves and how, uh, how difficult it is to find a pattern in it. Yeah, there's and really how much damage it deals if you don't do it properly. There's really no pattern that it uh, follows because its only attack is to ram Samus head on, or well, whatever passes for a head on that thing. But um, <laughs> oh, I sh probably shouldn't have taken that hit. Uh, I'll do this instead. It works. Um, yeah, and the way that it moves is kind of dependent on both where Samus is, uh, where you hit it on its body. And I would expect where the uh, there's there's an invisible point in every room that has X in it that X will just kind of circle around. I would expect that it follows that point as well to some extent. Yeah, uh, I don't. I, it might slightly. Also, uh, what you saw, what that shine spark that I just did was needlessly risky. Uh, it could have dealt a lot of damage and backfired, <laughs> and it only saved two seconds in game time. So, you're welcome, everybody. It doesn't save even that much time, I'm sorry. Oh, it doesn't? It's like a minute, it's like a second and a half or something? I always no, thought it was two seconds. No. Less than a second, I believe. Yo, I just did it for swag points. 
Let's go. Yeah, that's great. Someone hand me my shades. Because it, it loses a second just to get the spark. I don't this think you can prove that. Startup. Or, wait, no. It loses a half second just to do the spark because of the startup animation. All right, noted. Never going to do that in my world record attempts anymore. Oh, yeah, it's... <laughs> It's needlessly risky. You can time it again if you want. I just... I, yeah, but, you know. Not right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just exit out right now and yeah, claim it. You know. Just to be sure. Got plenty of time. Got another hour. You've got plenty of buffer time. Uh, realistically, this run, if everything goes well, it'll end around, like, uh, like 45 minutes-ish. We'll see how the late game treats him, though. Yeah, late game sucks. A lot of enemies kill in one hit there. You, especially the boss gauntlet. Like, the boss gauntlet is, like, the starting point of, oh, I'm literally gonna die to anything. <laughs> uh, don't snipe me. Could have sniped me. Um... That's right, there's a... Uh, well, we'll just get through this part first, and then we'll get to the fun bit after this. Assuming I don't secret key. We have a... Uh, oh. Well. <laughs> yeah. We had, so, a very old runner secret I don't know if I want to remind you or not, just to see if you would actually do it. Well, I'm reminding myself, so... <laughs> <laughs> there's a very uh, old runner by the name of Secret Key. Yeah. It tried to troll me! That jerk! Oh, oops. Uh, so that waiver almost trolled me <laughs> because uh, it, I could have just hit the blue X instead and it would have just absorbed the shot and I would have just got hit and I had to go back and do everything again, but I got lucky. Yeah, um, that's happened to me so many times in uh, record pace runs. Yeah, it's, it's probably one of the most annoying things to have happen. Yeah, it's not great. There's really not much you can do about it. And they those waivers only have like a finite number of patterns that they can do anyway. Um, mm -hmm. But talking about Secret Key, so Secret Key was an old runner that would... I don't think he did it very often, but enough or during like a race or something to where everyone noticed and it got named after him. Uh, he went, uh, after unlocking the yellow doors, get up there, uh, he skipped the ice missiles and went all the way back to the navigation room and talk to Adam without... <laughs> so so he basically had to backtrack all the way to come get these missiles. Thankfully, just by talking about it, I was stealthfully reminding myself not to do that embarrassing thing. Oh, very sneaky of you. I believe Ross did it at some point as well. Um, Rossu. Shout oh, out to Rossu. A lot of people have done it. Before. Yeah. Yeah. I think he did it during a tournament race and lost because of it, though, so... Oh, yeah. Shame on him. It's, uh, Rasu, <laughs> one, two, three, or whatever the numbers are. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to get those numbers wrong. I don't know. I always throw shade at Ross every time that this happens or I'm commentating on it because secretly, we're, well, not secretly, we're really good friends, and, uh, but I like, uh, throwing some shade at him from time to time. Ugh. That was a good green X pickup. That was totally intentional. Everybody clap. <laughs> uh, I'll take that, actually. It was a little bit slower, but I'm greedy, so... Yeah, you do want a lot of green X for this, uh... For this section coming up emergency. Yeah, this is the other missile intensive area of the game. And I'm gonna safety mm -hmm. save because, man, can it go wrong very quickly. Yeah, you need to be using a lot of ice oh. missiles here as platforms, and just a few of them to just get them out of the way. <laughs> Oops. I kind of missed that. Oops. How do ladders work? <laughs> Alright, so everybody spam Franker Z. You can spam, spam, um, you can sperm. You can spam Emergency and Franker Z, uh, and Franker Z emotes to your heart's content during this. It is a fusion tradition. Or, if you want me to press the nut button, you can donate for that and we'll do both at the same time. 
We'll spam Franker Z and Nut at the same time. It'll be great. I don't know how you can multitask that well. Listen, I've got two hands and some feet. Uh, the game gives us a ton of time here. Oh, yeah. uh, we Would should usually be saying uh, it. We should usually be seeing the timer end in the four minute range, the upper four minutes. Uh, and my favorite part of the run. Bark! Look at the Franker Z bark. Where is he bark so bark. free? Bark, 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 so bark, free. bark, 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 uh, charge beam shots. Oh, stop! Ugh. God, why? Everything's trying to kill me! That's the nature of the category. Alright, not this time, dude. Ow. He's going to be taking a few things a little bit more safely than he normally does, just to ensure oh, yeah. that he doesn't die. I'm sure I'll so still very die. Very important. Oh. Of course I say, I'm sure I'll still <laughs> die, and that side hopper was trying to be the death of me. The heckity heck, dude. Ooh, wow, that was an awful pattern. Uh, why is emergency so cruel? YOLO! Oh, that was a double. Oh, that was not a double. Uh-oh. Um, 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 eh. That worked. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, he's going to try to be taking damage from the core itself instead of from the wave beam, which deals a lot more damage. Yes, I found out yesterday. Man, does that do a lot. So, 414 emergency. That uh, leaves something to be desired, oh. if I can be honest. Fuck. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. Uh, I'm usually up around like the 430 range, but I took things very, very carefully. And I still got hit by a side hopper, unfortunately. Alright, didn't want to get hit by a flame there, or Nova. Not quite out of the woods yet, because there's a leave. long climb coming up that we uh, passed on the way down here. Uh, with a lot of stretchies that deal a lot of damage and can shoot you with uh, these homing beams. Yeah, so the, the stretchies used to be green, and now they're purple, and they deal a lot more hurt. Jump through the door so it doesn't scroll, or it goes faster. Wow. Shoutouts to the bad bomb radius. Yet again. I'm very surprised that first bomb didn't hit. I was yeah. very... Uh, I'm not sure how close that was to not hitting. It was pretty close, but... Yeah, the bomb radius can be troublesome. And you it's very imperceptible to see, uh, but every time I lay a bomb and I have to wait there, I'm actually tapping the jump button very slightly to get off the ground because... The way bomb jumping works in this game is that if you're on the ground when the bomb goes off, it'll apply uh, the velocity from the bomb for the bomb jump. But if you're off the ground at all, you won't uh, have any velocity or you'll have like, the most minimal velocity applied to you um, as that bomb goes off. So it's a, a way to not only mitigate uh, getting launched in a direction, but to uh, speed up actually being able to go through whatever tunnel is opened uh, from laying that bomb. Yo. 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 Uh, we got a $15 super uh, jackpot nut donation. Sick. Ooh. All right. Give me one sec. Nut. Thank There's you, one. Anonymous. Yo, shout outs mm. to Anonymous for getting some nuts. Nut. There's a second one. Two. 
as I'm uh, while I'm running as well. Uh, give me one second. Such expertise. Nut. Three. Three. Nut. Four. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait until the screen slides. And... Nut. There you go. Four. I think that was five. Or was that five? I believe it was five. I only heard four come in. Uh, you can do a bonus one. But my hands are a little busy at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please, 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 please. All right. Oh, 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 um, well, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm not Guess a fan you don't want to try recovering that by just getting another speed boost. Uh, I could have, but it's tough. Are you joshing me right now? Get off the glass! Get off the glass! What a jerk! These animals are a, a lot of RNG here, and what the they heck? like to waste you a lot of time. That's why we don't like saving them in Super Metroid. He was right there! What the heck? He was literally- he was like sucking on the glass or something. You know, I, I, I'm pretty sure most animals don't have a high enough <laughs> intelligence to uh, detect when there's a window in front of them, so they just... <laughs> I you think, know, keep running into it. Well, I mean, most animals also won't think teach you how to shine spark and there. wall jump, but... Hmm. <laughs> the heck, dude? What the heck? It's so rude. That was like, I was Apparently, so close to Apparently they know how animals. to run a ship, but I don't know if, if it's them running the ship or if they're just passengers. It's something like that. Listen, if they can figure out how to jump along the walls and, you know, use a, a Shine Spark, which I don't know why an Etikun, or is it technically the Decora? Oh, it's the Decora with okay. the Shine Spark. I always get confused. The Etikun's the little blue monkeys. Yeah, the Decora. It has Speed Booster, I guess, so... Sure. <laughs> That was so close to perfect animals, except for that one little monkey that was just hanging on the window, right next to the door. Yeah, that, getting was, perfect animals is excessively rare. I've only gotten perfect animals once, and I've run this game for like seven years. Let's put that into perspective. Yeah. It's 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 a slog sometimes. They can be <laughs> it can be extremely bad or really amazing. Yeah, you can probably lose upwards of, I would say, seven seconds plus. Yeah. To just animals RNG. Oh, absolutely. All right. Um. No missiles, but that should be fine, right? I can't think of what I would need. Yeah, you don't for. need missiles. Uh, yeah, and you'll get a red X from the slug after SAX. Yeah. Get back to full so I can lose it immediately. Yeah. Hey, yep. Alright, I'll just do that, I guess, instead, since Samus did not want to wall jump. She's all no red M&Ms only. Alright. So we're picking up the loudest item in the game, the power bombs. Yeah, fun fact, you can actually pick up a, a powerbomb expansion tank before uh, getting to this point, but it doesn't, uh, you don't actually get to use powerbombs until you actually get the, the data room uh, download. It's very disappointing. So I believe you can get them as soon as you pick up ice. You could probably start clipping to them on English. Okay. Interesting. So I, I start running there and what I'm doing is when I angle up, I actually let go of B during the door transition because you can use door transitions to buffer inputs. 
So by doing that, I'm able to fire, by letting go of B, it fires the uh, the beam on the earliest possible frame. Oh, shoot. Uh, I guess and I don't... opens the gate right away. Yeah, I don't know if I YOLO spitters in this case. Probably not. No. I got hit by one of those jerky pancakes. Jerky pancakes? That doesn't sound very... I mean, it sounds pretty that, appetizing. That's a very strange combination. It depends on what type of jerky if we're, we're talking here, if we're talking like venison, mm, maybe. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know how how that's gonna taste. Do the spitter the spitters kill in one hit on her, Oh, right? they sure do. They well, absolutely they do. kill. I think the spit normally is like seventy something or eighty something. I think it, yeah, I think it's eighty something on normal. Eighty two or something ridiculous high. Ridiculously high. Hmm, even, yeah. <laughs> gonna pretend that, uh, that didn't happen. Alright, so now we're going back to our ship, and nothing at all is gonna go wrong on our way back. Damn it! What? No. Aww. Oh. Who turned out the lights? Screw the lights, who turned off the elevator? And the lights. Yeah, I guess. YOLO. Do I YOLO? Do I YOLO? Oh, hell no, I don't. That was uh, an immediate answer. That spitter was out for blood. If you're trying to go fast, you have to be very watchful of these spitters here. This is probably the safest way of going about it. On a world record you attempt, need I would to get a speed booster here. Yeah, on a world record attempt, I would actually like risk it, but uh, nah, not not so much, not so much right oh. now. All right, so I'm at the ship. I'm not gonna save the first time, and the reason for this is because if I save now, um, it saves in the instance before this conversation happens. So what I'll do is I'll leave the ship and I will re-enter to save, uh, so that way everything is unlocked. And it's in a Great game design, of, by the way. Yeah, it's in a state of having already had the conversation. It's a it's sequence of it's operations. Like pretty sh yeah, pretty sure everyone who's died to Yakuza has uh, run all the way to the left just to find that the uh, reactor core isn't open yet. Yeah, the uh, the key hunter is, uh, which that was a key hunter, uh, hasn't hatched yet, so you couldn't get through here. All right, mm -hmm. this is the like the first part of the run where like. Everything starts to kill you in one hit. Um, these pirates do mm -hmm. like even e tanks can kill you in one hit. Yeah, please don't jinx that. Um, <laughs> it's happened already before. Okay, pirates do an awful lot of damage here. That was uh, that was a tight like four frame jump window. The pirates do like eighty damage here as well, and they're all off screen, so you can't really see them too much. That um, e tank that you saw him jump over kills a lot of runs. Oh yeah, it's done it to me in like the past week actually. Really good pace to run and I uh, picked up the E-Tank. World record pace and everything. So this is uh, That's Yakuza. A shame. One of the first, like the extremely hard bosses for people who play this mm -hmm. game casually. Uh, yeah, this whole segment, probably it. here up until uh, pretty much the end, all the bosses are going to be really difficult to kill. <laughs> Very different from what you would see in any percent. That was unnecessarily risky. Ooh. That should be good enough. Yeah, normally you kill uh, Yakuza in one round here. Or one round of his mouth opening up. Uh, but on low percent, that's a lot more difficult. It's still possible, but still very hard to do. Uh, this phase of this phase is a lot more difficult as well than it is in any other category because you can die in one or two hits. Uh, two. I would assume two. Yeah. The uh, so the and head he moves very erratically. The head actually does less than the garbage. The garbage does like sixty. The head does like forty. Very fortunate that you can do that though. Just what to get hit by. All right, that was a that was an okay fight. Oh, uh, hello, nice sweet spot too. Yeah, it was. It was. It wasn't necessarily perfect, but it was on the diagonal, so it was pretty close. Yeah. So, yeah. Yakuza is uh, another run ender because it's just it's 
A lot of people have troubles with it casually. Um, the any percent run is a lot faster with how it dispatches of it. The low percent is a long drawn out fight. It's <laughs> all right. So these a are a the lot numbers. of charge shots, Where's and it? it's I, you may not have noticed, but he was cutting those charge shots as close as he could yeah. because uh, like the rounds that uh, the amount of time that Yakuza is vulnerable is very short. So he has to be on top of it pretty much the entire fight in order to not miss in order to not miss any shots. Uh, bup, bup. All right, we're good. Easy also, does it. Uh, can be a scary moment in the run. Yeah. So like literally everything's on its like a war path to to end my run right now. Yeah, anything is gonna kill you in one hit. Uh, I'll actually, at this point. I'm actually gonna take a safety save before Notori because Notori. Good re choice. Yeah, Notori recently uh, shot Samus's uh, ankle, like the very like one. <laughs> oh, I see. It, it literally hit one pixel and it ended a run that was on really good pace. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna take that a little bit uh, safely. Notori is one of those fights that doesn't look like it can be that difficult, but it can definitely catch you off guard uh, if you are not paying enough attention. So this is the only or boss... You just get a little bit, like, yeah. uh, overconfident. Yeah. Try to squeeze in too many shots. Uh, and, and the plasma shot was actually in the core, so... Mm. It's even worse. Is the yeah, only... He's also standing on the very right of this pillar so that those flowers on the ceiling don't shoot uh, yeah. or can't hit him with the spores. Yeah, this is also the only boss that's damaged by uh, power bombs as well, so that's why I'm laying power bombs as I'm fighting him because they deal 50 damage. Uh. And yeah, since he has very few missiles, he has to get all the damage that he can get. Otherwise, this would be a pretty fast fight. That was a tank. Oh. Please don't look up. I think that was a double. Easy, does it? Ooh, alright. Now we got Plasma done. Beam. Another broken weapon in this game. Uh, plasma does damage per frame, so the longer this beam is in enemies, it deals more damage. Please don't kill me, Key Hunter. Thank you. Um, so... Okay. So we're going to be That's seeing that good. used a lot. Yeah. Like, a lot, and as, a lot. <laughs> Excuse me, as a charge beam, it's really powerful, too. Or especially powerful, I would say. It doesn't really come into play for the next few bosses, though, because the next boss is, uh, its hitbox is, like, one frame wide. This Key Hunter is a troll, so I'm gonna wait until he flies overhead and kill him. That Key Hunter waits That's there to try to choice. end the run. Uh. Yeah. So, with Stinger out... You have to have it, pretty specific movement to not get hit by it. Yeah. With, uh, with the Stinger out, the Key Hunters do 129 damage on normal, which means they do, like, 190 on hard mode. It's a little ridiculous. Yeah, they deal exactly one death. Close to two deaths, really. Yeah, pretty you, much. You're like double dead if you get hit by that key hunter with its stinger out. Mm-hmm. Not only does it end your run, it curses the next one, which is <laughs> never good. All right, so here comes my f one of the one of my favorite parts of this run, and it's where I can sit back and relax for like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you're not gonna do nightmare space boost? Nope. <laughs> sure, I'm not. If I get hit, I will be. So we're about to come up on the uh, probably the hardest boss in this category, Nightmare. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it's going to involve a lot of 
Bastards dodging boy. and a lot of tight movement. So yeah, this is the longest Shine Spark in the game. It spans like five or six rooms. It's pretty long. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Saves a fair bit of time, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can't do it as a what we call a space boost, where you Shine Spark, or you speed boost while space jumping. Uh, and it saves like half a second, but is needlessly difficult. Oops, I didn't grab that ledge. It's weird. All right, so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna save before nightmare, and I'm gonna go for it the uh, the fast way, uh, the first time, and then I will go to the cheese method if I succumb to. Uh, to the Nightmare. And if you've ever seen a run of this game, this fight's gonna look a little different as opposed to the 100% and any percent fights uh, of yeah. Nightmare. It's gonna yeah. look a little uh, different. Missiles do a lot more damage to Nightmare than the Charge Plasma does, and that's because uh, Plasma Beam only stays in his hitbox for a frame. Yeah. And actually deals less damage than a charged wide beam shot would. Yeah. So it's nightmare is kind of random. Like you can't predict where he's gonna start his flight path after the third phase when he's uh, moved all the way to the ladder. However, um, it, and that's mainly because uh, it starts to follow that invisible dot that we had mentioned uh, very briefly earlier in this run that all X follow to give it the look of you know random movement. And I'm gonna stop talking now. Oh, wow! I don't know how I'm not dead right now. Uh, well. Unfortunate. No, dude, he went right at me. All right, that's fine. Mm -hmm. That's a that's, very... That's too bad. That, he was pretty close to dead, too. Uh, He was like 10 or 10 shots away or so, unfortunately. Um, that's the, Still, fast, that's yeah. the fastest way to fight him. Um, but if uh, I scroll the screen from right to left constantly... Oh, now the idol is going to punish me. Uh, I can basically get him stuck in the <laughs> All right, you're going to give me four shots? That's three. Yep, yeah, that, four. that's a very difficult fight if you're doing it the fast way. Yeah. I went for... Very uh, easy to die, as we have seen. I went for the, the cool method to uh, try to show it off, and I came very close. But in the end, uh, the, the nightmare got me, so... Oh, I bet y'all thought I was going to say it didn't even matter. Haha, -ha, I fooled you. <laughs> You sure got me. In this fight, uh, if you plan on doing this category, take notes, because this is a really easy way to fight Nightmare. Oh yeah. I was told recently by uh, someone who's running the game casually that uh, if I was going to ever attempt doing this, I should use save states. Um, and I won. Maybe I should have, but number two... Um, <laughs> So yeah, this is the, uh, I, I can talk freely here because uh, Nightmare is pretty much locked in at this point. As long as I keep running to, from the right to the left and scrolling as he, as he would stop, uh, it's just going to keep trying to get at me. Yeah, this is going to go on for like two minutes or so. Oh yeah, it takes quite a while. 
takes like a it's like a three minute fight because nightmare is like it takes 30 shots and i'm i think at like eight at this point i'm gonna say i'm at eight we'll go with that yeah i'll know when i hit uh when i hit 15 uh oh all right i hit 15 so i'm at 15 so it needs 15 more no 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 Careful. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy right now. Fuck me. I accident. I mm, apologies. Oh goodness. I uh, that was on me. My I accidentally let go of the jump button and uh, ugh. oof. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Even with the cheese method, it's still pretty hard. <laughs> I, you just have to stay, uh, stay focused. Yeah, I, uh... Because sometimes he can get out from under you. I, I let it You're stop not once. To it. The problem is I let it stop, and because I let it stop, it's unpredictable of where it's gonna fly next, so it really messes up the pattern. Um, mm -hmm. because before it targets Samus again, it targets that invisible dot that's floating around the room, and since I can't see that dot, I have no idea where it's gonna go. Like I said, though, at the top of this run, there is the potential for death. Uh, it's not the easiest category you'll ever see uh, run in this game, so... <laughs> Definitely one of the hardest categories you'd see run in this game. Oh, yeah. If not the hardest. Yeah. Barring 0% uh, uh -oh. hard mode. Not this again, dude, if no. If we ever see a run of that. Yeah, well, we'll see. Alright, that's much better. I like that. Yeah, he's trying to get a specific pattern from Nightmare here before he locks him into position. He was It tries to stop in the middle there, because I scrolled the screen, it doesn't allow it to. I think that's seven. Mm -hmm. Eight. Nine. Ten. So... The charge beam is dealing 45 damage as long as all three parts hit. If uh, if Nightmare's hitbox wasn't flat and like one pixel deep, I would be dealing a lot more because of the plasma beam dealing damage per frame. However, uh, I guess they thought that that would be a little bit broken immediately on the very next boss, so uh, <laughs> we kind of have to suffer. <laughs> Just immediately take Nightmare down upon it. Oh, dude, he would. He stands no chance. That would be a great way to display the power of the plasma beam. Yeah. Just saying. 18. 19. 20. 21. 2. Ah, ah, ah. 23. Ah, ah, ah. And four. All right, so I'm just gonna take this time to remind everybody that the uh, the Valuethon Eight is raising money for the Save the Children Foundation, uh, and all subs are going to be going towards that donation. So if you sub to the channel, uh, either through Twitch Prime, which is free, or through a regular subscription, uh, that money will be going towards the charity. As will all the money that you uh, spend to have me press this lovely blue nut button that I have sitting right next to me. For memes! Also, Nightmare's dead. Took you long enough. Hey, 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 come on. <laughs> I no, tried that's to be cool. a really long fight. I tried to be cool. And, yeah. And I well, failed. Oh god, give me... There we go. Fortunately, failure doesn't do much for you. Oh, so, um... Doesn't do much for being cool. I also hate the fact that at all that the invisible dot floats around like the corners of the freaking room, all the way at the top as well. So it's impossible to get those X to come down to gather them quickly. Yeah. All jokes aside, it's still a really difficult fight. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's especially to do in a marathon setting. It's it's a thing. I tried to. I I was so close the first method, and I've practiced that so long. I, I'm honestly a little let down that I did not get it, but hey, can't, yeah, can't nail every method, trick. You need to practice a lot to even get it once. Yeah. And to get it consistently is 
consistently is another story. I'm gonna save now. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much everything in this section will kill you in one hit. Oh Be yeah, there, careful. There's uh there's one fish that's very inconspicuous that will very like you will just he's punishing because you don't expect him to deal mm -hmm. as much damage as he does but man he'll deal over a hundred he, he will kill you oh yeah as i you know i found out the hard way uh is he is he there oh yeah he is uh where's that little ball okay we're good that's the yeah, fish he's kind of hidden up there behind the screen scrolling uh oh um it's just gonna carefully get rid of him yeah i accidentally uh, went too early on that. So I was supposed to get a speed uh, speed boost activation there, and I was gonna <laughs> basically jump through that do uh, the the bomb blocks, but uh, I pressed the input a little too early. <laughs> <laughs> So, here we yeah, are. Yeah, for that, I, I run down and jump at the very bottom of that slope, just for a couple frames. And that'll get you in most of the time, or at least break one block. Alright, now, we just have to get out of here. Howdy. Hello. Donation time? I have good news. Oh. We have a $5 donation from Shredbird that says, deny. Oh, cool. Well, um, let me say this to you, friend. Uh... Nut. There you go. <laughs> One nut for you. Coming Th right up. Thank you for the donation. That nut came through, right? Yes, that did come through. Excellent. Serving up hot nuts. Well, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I might want to walk that one. I might want to walk that one back, actually. Might be too late, though. <laughs> Now it's on the internet forever. That's fine. I'm sure nobody will clip that. I, uh, that's interesting. I didn't realize I could kill that ouch through the wall. Um, I just learned something. Yeah. You learn something new every time you run a game. You sure can. So this room, as we exit, um, this room is the only room that's different between English and Japanese. <laughs> Um, the English version, that little puffer guy is on that right, um, the rightmost, uh, little shadow you saw there. They moved him to the left, as well as made that wall a little thicker, uh, because the, uh, secret message could have been, can be cheesed on the English one by curving a missile into the passageway to freeze the little puffer guy without diffusion missiles. Still a very tight missile curve. It's not the easiest, for sure. But it's still definitely the easier way to get to that uh, Easter egg. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so Instead we're of having to do a very long shine spark chain, which is not the easiest either. Um, yeah, we're getting down to the last few bosses here. This is probably one of the last guys that'll give me a run for my money and has actually killed me in a marathon. So. Um, <laughs> that wasn't on like this difficult, so we'll we'll see what happens here. But we're back. He's in killed me in any percent before a couple times. Same here. I've gotten sniped. Yeah. It's not it's not a good feeling. No, it is not. Yeah, he deals a lot of damage. Uh, so we're heading over there very quickly. This isn't a very long segment, uh, this Sector 6 visit. Yeah, it's pretty quick, thankfully. The, you get the long segment out of the way the first time. Also, shout out to those slugs in that past room, because I've accidentally shot one off the ceiling, and it's fallen on my head and killed <laughs> me. Um, it's killed <laughs> me. It's happened to me, too. <laughs> oh, wait, that was way too early. Dang it. it! It's killed me on world record pace, so shout out to those slugs for always being a friend and just wanting to give me a hug. <laughs> yeah, you would think that getting hit by a plasma <laughs> shot would kill them, but if you only like clip the side of them with the plasma shot, it'll knock Ow. them off of the ceiling. Yeah, it's 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 a thing. It's pretty funny. I mean, it's funny for the people watching. 
<laughs> Not yeah, so it's much very like embarrassing if it happens to you. Yeah. Uh oh. Um, actually, we're good. Uh, so this is gonna be interesting. Um... Well... That was a good choice. Uh, oh my god, stop, stop, stop. Uh oh, we got a problem here. Not off to the best start. Nope. Does he kill you in one hit if he body slams you? Pretty sure. Alright, that's good to know. Uh oh. Uh, now he's gonna kill me in one hit for sure. Yeah, Herc is taking this very safely. Uh, oh, not going oh, for oh, any oh, time. Oh, oh. Oh boy. I didn't save, I didn't save! Why? Uh, my rhythm is all fucked up for this fight. I, I apologize for cursing. But I am super nervous right now. Why does he keep doing this? Why did uh, he do it's that? Be... Oh no, oh, boy. dude. Where am I? Oh. Why was he doing that? I've never seen I've never seen that him do that. When you damage him, he's supposed to it... jump. Yeah, it might be that you need to damage him first with That's a right. diagonal. I forgot to save everybody. I apologize. We're not too far back, though. I mean, I mean, well, I mean, like five minutes at most. Ugh. Five minutes too many for me. Yeah, honestly. Oh god, I completely forgot to save. I just feel so. As soon as I entered the room, I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> oops. Yeah, don't worry, I'll be reminding you next time you come up there. Please do. I don't know, I've never seen him actually act like that, so I didn't know how to react to some of Yeah, those. that was very odd. That I was don't know what causes him to start doing that. Yeah, it, I, it might be proximity-based, To if I'm being completely honest. I, it, if I'm... The only thing that I did differently that fight was I stayed away waiting for him to jump, and he just started to run, mm -hmm. so I'm assuming that it's... If you're close, he'll try to jump at you. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best guess. Ow. What the heck? That was rude. Alright, now my uh, my heart rate is, is sl starting to slow down. Um... <laughs> Heck, the estimate. Yeah, fortunately, the estimate was very high. Did pretty well on their estimate. Yeah. I want it to be completely under because my be my personal best is one twenty without uh, deaths. But I gave an extra twenty minute buffer just in case some dumb stuff happened, like that ten minute beginning. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that was honestly mood. that was never supposed to happen. Uh, uh, but hey, this thing happens, so y'all can meme about it if you want. It won't bother me any. More fusion, more fun. Yeah, man, you just get to see more of the run. That's all. Plus, it gives you guys more time if you want to hear some more nuts, so... Think of it that way.
Ah, yes. Quiet. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, God. All right, let me stretch my legs out here. Let's get comfy. Because I'm coming back for that Xbox. And I'm going to suplex it. Assuming I get there. Grab it and throw it against the wall. Or something. I... Uh, the, the, the thing is, too, it's like I got super comfortable with, like, not saving. And that's usually a place where I don't save. <laughs> so, like, I just kind of forgot. It's also another boss that if you start tanking missiles on him... It just takes a lot longer, and that's just more time to die. Yeah. The fight did not get started out properly as I wanted it to. I kind of missed the shot, sort of. Because you, you have enough missiles in this category to kill it using only missiles. Why did I lay a bomb again, Very dude? nice. What the heck is nice. wrong with me? Oh, I should probably do that. Um, oops. Why did I lay a bomb? What the heck am I doing? That is a great question, and I, uh, gotta be honest, don't know the answer. Yeah, I got super comfortable with, like, not saving and just continuing through the game, and I just kind of, you know, hey, forgot that maybe I should, I, you know, it'd be bad if I, uh, was to lose the run. Um, <laughs> one of those things with this, like, running this category, you just get so used to not saving. Um, you just kind of forget sometimes, so, uh, let's, let's, let's save. Let's save this time, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's do that, because this is a First very... First door on the right. Yeah, it's a very easy save room to miss, to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. Get to enjoy some more no entry without authorization. I was just thinking the same thing. All right, let's <laughs> let's 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 see if this goes better this time. I sure hope so. Actually, get the opener this time. Yeah, I sure did. This is how it's supposed to go. Alright, now please, please, please be nice. A much cleaner fight here. Yeah, this wave beam can snipe you and will kill you in one hit. Yeah, it does 150 damage in hard mode. It is, uh, yeah. this entire game is ruthless. Yeah, that's something they didn't really let up on in Samus Returns. Nah. As well. Why would they do that, though? Hard like is they, fun. They kind of moved into it on, in this game, and then they went full force in Samus Returns. Oh, darn it. I was trying to be cool. Was not cool. You can actually save that. <laughs> you could save that spark actually, and uh, not have and just use it immediately. <laughs> free time save because door fix is free. All right, and uh, by jumping through this door, it actually lines up these Metroids. So for whatever reason, yeah, it depends on I'm where you jump sure through the why. door. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It's all dependent on where you jump through the door. If you jump through the middle, you get, like, the uh, two that are lined up. I've been practicing this category, full disclosure, for, like, the past two or three weeks to get, like, as consistent as possible. Just knowing that uh, events are coming up and everything, and uh, man, I'm I'm happy that it's been going as well as it has, except for the two erroneous deaths. Um, the first one being very like confusing and not expected at all. Uh, the second one being like, oops. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm I'm honestly happy that I'm able Other to, to that, show this off. Not yeah, too bad. Yeah, I'm happy to be able to show this off.
plus the uh, the nightmare fight that kind of got me twice. But the first time I was trying to be cool. The second time I just slipped, my fingers slipped off the button and I kind of fell onto his backside. Oops. Uh, uh that's interesting. Ow. Also, frozen enemies are an interesting thing in Metroid. Um, you can just jump right through frozen enemies. Stop it! Yeah, frozen enemies yeah. in probably every 2D Metroid game, uh, they all have weird properties that can be exploited. Uh, scroll the screen. Excellent. Did not want to die to that pirate. I don't want to die to <laughs> this one either. So fun fact about these pirates, um, they I, the game only checks to see if you're facing the same direction as them. So I can shoot and turn around, and because the game notices that I'm facing the same direction as the pirate, it automatically assumes that I'm behind it. So we can just kill it by shooting a shot straight through because wave plasma penetrates. And now uh, the, the hardest boss fight in the game, or one of the hardest boss fights, Ridley coming up. Um, I, I don't even think we have to explain this fight. I think it's just going to speak for itself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of similar to how you can trivialize Nightmare. There are ways to almost trivialize Ridley. Also, uh, ear warning, uh, because he is loud. So I can just space jump in this corner and he can't hit me. And I, uh, oh, we never explained R shooting either. So I'm actually using a technique called R shooting, which uh, if I have a, tr a fully charged beam, I can press the right trigger to activate missiles and it'll fire the beam uh, and it won't cause Samus to unmorph. So that's why I'm able to continuously spin jump and fire the, uh, the beam while I'm spin jumping. Ooh, uh, I thought he was dead. Note that if you yeah, don't have any missiles, you won't shoot a beam. <laughs> Yeah, I was using this. I've Very been using this. Very fun to yeah. run into here without any missiles and try to R shoot, and you can't shoot any beams. I uh, I was actually using this technique during the um, nightmare fight because nightmare um, it's easier to R shoot nightmare when uh, you have one missile, which is why I saved one missile for the entirety of the fight and only fired eleven instead of the full twelve. But that was Ridley. Um, good luck fighting him. Uh, on the ground during this category because you will die very, very quickly. <laughs> yeah, Ridley generally comes right towards you if you're sitting on the ground. Yeah, it's a miracle that, you know, there's even a single point in that room where we're able to, like, run and hide and deal damage. Like, if we couldn't, I don't even think this category would exist. It's astounding. Uh, yeah, it would be a lot more difficult. It'd be an even bigger meme than it already is. <laughs> okay, even 0% would be a lot more difficult. Oh yeah. On normal mode. I'm gonna run through the acid here. Bark, look at the Franker Z bark. Here is he bark so free. Bark, 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 Z. All right, so, it's a great uh, song. It's amazing. Everyone go download that song on iTunes. All proceeds to benefit Save the Children. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll save right before um, the final fight because, you know, why not? Good idea. Yeah, I, I don't. I, if you I, didn't, you'd have to go back, fight Ridley again, sit through. Uh, I guess two and a half minute cutscene. Yeah, I guess. I'm not gonna fail the fight. No one though. wants to see that. I'm not gonna fail the fight. We'll be fine. Watch. We'll be Watch. fine. We'll be fine. I don't know why I stored the shine spark there, so I'm just gonna use it and wind spark into the ceiling for the lulls. Genius. Hmm. This right. is a super long cutscene. If you want to get up and use the bathroom or. Or halfway through it. Grab yourself a glass of milk. Yeah. It's a good time to do that. 
Yeah, thankfully, in the Japanese version, this cutscene is like a minute and a half as opposed to the full three minutes that it is on English. English text, by the yeah. way. Um, boom. There we go. Okay. Um, so the reason a lot of people run on the Japanese version is it saves like two and a half minutes to text alone. Um, and it's more mm -hmm. prevalent now that we switched the leaderboards to RTA. Um, I think JC87 and I were the two people who forgot uh, Japanese cartridges first just because it's a little bit faster and we hated all the text. Um, so we just started using them and now they're actually like, you know, if you want it. Prevalent. Yeah, pretty prevalent. Is because before it didn't matter if you were racing, running on English or whatever, the in-game time was the same uh, on both copies. Um, but now, if like you're going for like a competitive time or something like that, or you just want to save the two and a half minutes, um, the Japanese version is the fastest legal version uh, for the leaderboards. The fastest version, which I consider doing this run on for the memes, uh, is the Chinese version. <laughs> um, which Text moves a lot faster in the oh, Chinese God. version. It's insane. Also, I don't, I don't think we've, uh, we actually technically went over the plot of, of Metroid Fusion. Um, so you play, uh, you play as Metroid. Cares about the plot. You play as Metroid, a, uh, a, an android robot, who is, who got infected by the coronavirus at the very beginning during a cutscene, and it's on a mission now to wipe out the coronavirus on this station, and we're about to achieve that uh, by blowing up the entire station and the planet that it came from. So now you're all caught up as to what happened. Oh, and like it was also like I'm glad we went over that. Yeah, it was also. You know, I sometimes forget the story myself. Yeah, it was also like oh, b -b 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 gotta save. That'd probably be good. <laughs> that would have been funny. I would have been. I would have gotten yelled at. I would have completely forgotten if you didn't say anything. Oh, dude, I was already forgetting. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's the plot. The more you know. Alright, so, um... Yeah, you would think that, like, the, the end bosses would be, like, something very, very serious. Not the case. Um, all of these bosses can be stunlocked, uh, or they can be cheesed. So, uh, watch as we proceed to cheese this guy. Yeah, don't miss the stun lock, please. Uh, well, we've got a problem. What the hell? That took like six shots. Like eight. What the frick? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Positioning must have been just slightly off. Uh, no, I just didn't fire the beam. Uh -oh. oh, no, I, I was talking about during phase one. Yeah, uh, so it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, for for phase two, we have we shoot the charge beam straight up so that it uh, the SAX kind of follows the charge beam as it's jumping, and that deals a ton of damage. So we can kill it with just two fully charged shots. Uh, I can also go for uh, doubles there, but that's really risky. And um, no. Yeah, doubles not, not right um, now. They're not impossible to do but they're tough you actually have to they're, the they're hard and it's very likely that you're going to die if you're not careful yeah ice beam will kill you in one shot i'm pretty sure it's still, yeah even it, i'm normal it deals an e-tank so it deals like 1.5 i'm pretty sure or something more than that yeah oops sorry 1.5 a tank and a half i guess technically um but yeah yep. so if you if you blink this is uh that second phase of the fight uh, because the wave beam deals damage per frame, I shot it straight up when the SAX jumped, and because it just traveled upwards with the uh, wave beam stuck inside it, and it just drained its health down to zero, like almost instantly. It's pretty funny that like the last three bosses are probably the easiest ones. Yeah, honestly. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh well, let's look at the spark. Aha. All right. All right, please don't kill me. Oh, I lived on one. Thank goodness. Omega oh, is just weak. enough health. Yeah, we can Merciful still do this. Omega. Uh, I can't move. Uh oh. Ha! Ah, that ice uh, axe I freed. Did, are you mashing? 
Okay, I'm mashing pretty hard. You can see me jiggling in the corner. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Alright, so, uh, uh, I, I, Man, I don't know what's going on. This, uh... Oh, now you've got two, uh, two threats in the room. Oh no, it's just one now. Yeah, so you can stun lock and just drain the Omega Metroid. <laughs> uh, so that is, uh, that was Omega. That was the uh, ultimate boss of this game. Um, Goodbye. Yeah, we're gonna get on the ship and fly away now. And yeah. time. Omega doesn't do much, doesn't really and pose much of a threat. Time. So technically, GG. without that 10 minute whatever, we, we're still technically underestimated. But I was an idiot yeah. and I died somehow. Occasionally. But, um, yeah, so that was 1% hard. Gosh darn it, was I pretty nervous for this run. And man, oh man. Uh, Did it show. Yeah, well, not in the ways <laughs> that I would expect. No, you did, you did fine, Nerd. No, yeah, that, that was that a run, great show. That was a run that I was actually very happy with, except for, well, the first 10 minutes. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which I looked like quite the fool. But everything past that was eh, actually very good. Doesn't matter. You showed it off better the next time anyway. Oh, yeah. It was it was really good the entire way through. Um, there was only one real death that I that, you know, could have been prevented or was just, it surprised me, it was uh, Xbox towards mm -hmm. the end, and that's about it. Um, yeah, it's something to look into, I guess, is yeah. how Xbox behaves. So, if you've ever played this game, you're probably used to seeing, like, the three phases of, like, Samus, like, getting out of her suit or whatever, and, like, the, the ultimate one, like, of finishing it with, like, under a certain percentage and a fastest time is, like, her just chilling along a wall or something like that, and, like, her shorts and, like, a crop top or whatever. Um, but uh, for the Japanese version, they added a lot more um, ending screens. And uh, I, th I think everyone's really going to like this ending screen if you've never seen it before. It's it's really funny. It's it's quite the uh, it's, <laughs> it's quite the end screen. It caught me by surprise when I first saw it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how many people had even seen it before. It's actually pretty funny, too, because... There's, I, I discovered something just through research by accident on the internet. Um, there's two different types of modes in the Japanese version. There's the adult version and there's the children's version. Um, and the end screens are different based on the adult and the children's version. So the the children's version is like, uh, like anime styled. And the, like the artwork is depicting like stuff from sat like, it's all lore based stuff like based on six samus's past and whatnot and then the adult version is the um the endings you're typically used to seeing while also throwing in some special ones for like one percent hard or 100 percent hard um i don't think easy gets any of its own individual end screens but um this low percent hard no i don't think does. so yeah it just shares the uh some of the the normal ones but uh, the new screens are, I think, only for hard mode, really. Yeah, hard mode and normal mode have completely separate endings. And then on top of that are uh, adult and children modes. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping... Uh, actually, this I don't even know what time I got because there was deaths in it. It doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> I like It's probably like a 50 or something like that, somewhere in that range. Hmm. It's something along there, probably. Probably somewhere around there, yeah. Yeah. So, uh... Alright, let's see. Let's see. How good did I do? Did I did I make the cut? Alright, well, she took off her suit. <laughs> I would sure hope you would. And, uh, this is the 1% hard ending screen. Uh, if anybody wants the Metroid Baby action figure or the Samus Aran vs. SAX figurines, um, be careful. There's a, it has a choking hazard on it. Um, but you get a, cha <laughs> a, a, a deluxe two-pack. Think of the value of getting three things and the arm cannon in one package. Um... Thank you uh, for having letting me do this run. Um, I've been Hercules Bench Press, and with me is C. Scotty W. And uh, hi, yeah, and uh, <laughs> we're 
and we're done. <laughs>